Um, so Patrick Tomlinson has been trickerinoed a evil past from, I assume the, the Opie and Anthony forum has been feeding Patrick and Jesse Singh, the ugliest woman that has ever lived. Besides the other person that says the ugliest woman, Laura Loomer, besides Laura Loomer, Jesse Singh is the ugliest woman that has ever lived. And then May is in third position. If you want to know my ranking of ugliest women who are women, Laura Loomer, Jesse Singh, the horse. Um, Tomlinson says, or let me just read uh, Jackie, actually. Oh, no, no, this is the fake Jackie. Fake Jackie says, Pat, your fat form waddled out of that court, and the last fight you had, you were 10. Doesn't count. And the guy broke your sissy arm. Imagine what would happen if a jab, cross, and hook landed on your edema, your edema head. You'd be gushing blood like a stuck well pig. Get it? Just stop. Just stop. Patrick says, this is one of the members of the criminal stalking cult terrorizing my family. He goes by Boomia on their hate forums, or did. For several years now, Boomia has been threatening and harassing me via text sent by hundreds of spoofed numbers. Thing is, now we know his name. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, I fucked it up. I had it right the first time. Um, the above... Wait, no, no, no. It hasn't just been taxed like all of them. Boomia escalated to real-world stalking last January when he traveled to Detroit, where I was presenting at a conference. He spent the weekend texting threats to confront and assault me, took pictures of my car in the parking lot, etc. The above account is just his latest of dozens of dedicated harassment accounts he's used to stalk us on Twitter. The rest have been permanently suspended for doxing violent threats and so on this one probably won't last long either but after several years of his boasting and bluster enough breadcrumbs were dropped that we can say with a high degree of confidence that the user boomia is actually robert prongay jr of ontario canada pictured here chat is mr robert prongay jr of ontario uh, he s continues. Um, Robert is a mid fifties and a father of four. He has dual citizenship in the United States and Canada owning property in both. It would seem very strange for a middle-aged family man to spend years of his life obsessively stalking a complete stranger until you realize who that family is. You see Robert Prongay Jr. is the son of Robert Mr. Softy Prongay Sr., infamous mob-linked hitman who used to drive an ice cream... <laughs> <laughs> who used to drive an ice cream truck and got his moniker from allegedly freezing his victims. You can found time of death estimates. Robert Prongay Sr. was subsequently allegedly killed by his mass murdering protege, Richard the Iceman Kuklinski. Kuklinski? <laughs> they called him Kuklinski, they believed it. Richard the Iceman Kuklinski in 1984. He was shot in the head repeatedly and eventually found in his ice cream truck. There was even a 2010 movie, The Iceman. Chris Evans played Prange. So it seems little Bobby Prange is an apple that didn't even roll out of the tree's shade. He's an impulsive, rageful, sadistic, and violent. He has involved his own children in his criminal stalking campaign against my family through emotional abuse and manipulation. He has never hidden the fact he revels in cruelty and sadism. He's a dedicated white supremacist, racist, transphobe, and anti-Semite. He bragged about participating in the trucker occupation of Ottawa, and flouting health protocols to spread COVID in both the U.S. and Canada. I love, love, love how he's going to Melissa. He's a, he's a Nazi bigot, transphobe, anti-Semite, yada, yada. And also three sentences dedicated to how he was an evil trucker that didn't want any more COVID restrictions. Wow, he really is a terrorist. Uh, but he continues. 
His own posts have all but confirmed the idea is correct, ranting about how he's been doxxed. He hasn't been. We've been enough. We've enough shared his addresses or phone numbers, nor used them for any reason except to forward to law enforcement. So he has been, I mean, allegedly, he has been doxxed. He just not posted it on Twitter, I guess. He doesn't really seem to know what doxxing is. Surprise. Uh, we even have recordings of his voice should a final confirmation of his ID and participation in the stalking campaign against us become necessary. We're going public with what we think we know because these criminals have operated from the shadows with impunity for far too long. They think anonymity will protect them from consequences because what they fear the most is exposure to have their deeds and crimes linked to their names and reputations in the public eye and all scrutiny from law enforcement that that will bring. And finally, if... Or because if the worst should happen to one or both of us, or if we're forced to defend ourselves from the ever escalating attacks, there has to be a public record of the suspect and how we arrived here. So Patrick Tomlinson preparing for a, a breadcrumb for uh, private investigators and detectives to find when he is unceremoniously executed in an ice cream, <laughs> an ice cream truck. <laughs> Addendum, a cinemaphile follower pointed out the profile pic for Boomy It looks remarkably like Sopranos actor Adam Mookie. The pic was taken from one of Prange's other social media profiles. It would not surprise us in the least if he's used an actor's headshot instead of his own. Uh, because he has, actually. This is just a random picture of a guy from The Sopranos. And the story of his father is actually based on The Sopranos. I've been told. I've actually not watched The Sopranos. So I apologize to all the cinephiles out there who, who believe that The Godfather and The Sopranos should always be watched by anybody who lives. Not seen it. I don't know. But people say it's based on The Sopranos. And also, if you're not clued in, Kuklinski is obviously a bullshit name. And Richard Prange is just dick gay porn, if you think about it hard enough. And he bought this. Both Jackie Singh, who professes to be a hacker but legal, and uh, Patrick Tomlinson, who who has convinced himself that he has a 180 IQ and is smarter than everybody else in the entire fucking world, uh, could not recognize that Richard Prange is a fake fucking name. Kuklinski, at least, because it's like a weird Polish name, you might think, oh, I guess someone's named Kuklinski, but Prange is like... That's not a real name. You can just Google that. You can Google, is Prange a real fucking name? And Google will say, no, dipshit. I'm pretty sure that's the exact response you get if you ask that question to Google. Uh, so that is the Tomlinson update. He's having fun. He appears to be getting more unhinged and more desperate for any kind of win after he paid Quasi the money that he owed and shit. And good luck with that. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Adolfo. Remember to like and subscribe.